Okay, guys, as we begin the semester and we're just getting started using Teacher Ease, if you're not familiar with Teacher Ease, you may be asking, well, how do I access my grades and attendance? So the first thing is to make sure that you have received an invitation to your Microsoft 365 email. You should have received an invitation in the form of an email with a link that should take you directly to Teacher Ease, the website. The very first time you enter Teacher Ease, you're going to have to include a password. You can choose whichever password you want. I will not know this password. If you have to reset the password at some point, let me know and I can help you do that. But you will set up a password of your choice, and this is the password that you'll use to enter into Teacher Ease. Now, once you have a password, you, you should be able to sign in. Now, I am signed in as under kind of a dummy account. And so I am signed in as a student. All right. So when you go into assignments, you may see something like this. Now, I'm not sure why this is, but by default, this is set up as a task list. But if you go to the week view or the month view, you should be able to see more of the assignments for, that, uh, for this class. All right, so I'm going to go back again because I'm curious. And... Let's see what this looks like if I select the month view. So this might even be a better view for you because then you can see at a glance each assignment for each of the, uh, the weeks in this case. Now, uh, in this case, it looks like here, if I select this option, it's going to take me into this assignment. All right, so every time you look and see a link here, this, these will be assignments. So in here, you'll be able to see your assignments. And let's say you want to look at your grades. You, you can select up here under Academics, under Grades. All right. You should have now an option. Once grades have been uploaded, you should have a grade here at this point. Now, the scale here is on a 100-point scale. All right, so if I assign a, an assignment, a task for a grade, and I give you a 10 on a scale from 1 to 10, that's going to be the same as a, a 100. All right, so this is the actual percentage, 100. And then this letter designation, this is common in the U.S. We won't use a letter designation, A, B, or C, or D. Uh, don't worry about the letter designation. All right, you're going to be concerned with the percentage. And so for uh, any university classes to pass a course, you will need a 70%, 70. Now, for this particular first assignment, um, make sure that you go in and double check your assignments and make sure that you uh, send me a chat Send me a message via chat in Microsoft Teams if there is uh, a discrepancy, if there's a problem, if you're not sure why you got the grade that you did. But for this first week, you were to include four different tasks. Number one, the first assignment was to upload a video to Flipgrid. That was for three points. Number two, the activity we did as a group and uploaded to Flipgrid, that's another three points. Number four, on Thursday, I ask you to complete a video discussing podcast and the podcatcher that you're going to use for this semester. That's also three points. Finally, uploading an image to your Microsoft Teams or Microsoft 365 account uh, making sure that you have a picture of yourself, of your, of your face, to uh, the platform. Make sure that that appears in as your uh, profile page. Okay, make sure the image appears as your profile page. Okay, that's for one point. 
So a total of 10 points is possible for this first week of class. And I have now uploaded those assignments. So please double check your grades in Teacher Ease. One last thing I'll suggest that you do is to make sure that you can find under academics the attendance. All right, so in this particular case, um, I have not registered any uh, absences or um, or or any information regarding absences because this is just a dummy account. But here you should be able to see when you were absent for uh, the week or for the course. All right, so I hope this helps. I think the only thing that was a little strange the first time was making sure that you select a view. By default, it may look like this, and you probably won't see anything. So make sure, again, that you select either, either the week view or, even better yet, probably the month view is, is going to be your, your best option. Okay, And uh, that should allow you to see the assignments that have been um, included uh, for the course uh, throughout the semester. If anybody has any questions about anything regarding the course so far as we have completed the first week, please reach out to me, preferably this weekend. Today is Saturday, uh, August 29th, 3 p.m. So feel free to reach out to me. I'll be online tomorrow as well. If anyone needs to meet online to clarify anything that we are doing for this course, please let me know. Okay, I'd like to get everybody caught up. I know some of you have been coming in uh, throughout the week, and uh, that's fine. Um, I'm still going to give everyone an opportunity to complete all the tasks that we have been working on for this week. So please, if you uh, have not completed all the tasks, please try to do so this weekend. On Monday, we're going to be trying... Some, something new. We're going to be doing some new activities and uh, moving on with different uh, uh, things to focus on. All right. So again, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see everybody in class on Monday at 8 a.m.